Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this uh, emblem on Facebook, and and it's not too terribly bad, but she was engraving it, but she couldn't get the, the red center to engrave it. And I'm going to try to do this real quick because uh, it, it would take a long time to, to redo it. If you take this and go to bitmaps and outline trays clip art, which I use a lot, it's going to do a pretty good job on everything except for that center part. So it's made a copy right on top of it and it's cleared it up pretty good. There's one little mistake right there. In the in the words inside aren't with a flip, and I just did this and I came up with this. The hardest part about this was these weren't really text to curve; they were just more or less curved just a little bit. So I went on the internet and I found another emblem that was more a little better, and I go to a range of uh, bitmaps, outline trays, clip art, and I traced it. And it, the center came out a lot better. So it's made a copy right on top of the other one. So let's move it out of the way. So this is our not so good copy. This is our copy that's better. I'm going to go arrange, ungroup all, and all I want is center stuff. So I'm just going to grab that and try to get it out of the way. It's still got this ladder. And then we can get rid of the rest of this. And I apologize if I'm going a little fast. And what you could go ahead and do while you're right here is go ahead and draw you a box. Fill it in with yellow. Let's group this together. Let's put it in the yellow box. Let's go to a effects or let's go to arrange order put front of page and you can see there's some white background in it you might as well go and get away right now so let's ungroup it and get rid of all the white because the white will possibly engrave then go back and group it back together we can get rid of our yellow box for a minute. So what we need to do is take this one and get rid of that red. So we're going to ungroup it. And you can see the letters are grouped to, or ungrouped together. So try to lasso them, hold down your shift key, lasso them, and then click on your cross. That's done pretty good. We got rid of we got see all this garbage that was in the back. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now we still have one problem. We have try to get back in my page here. We have a we have a circle that's not worth a flip. So while this is go no fill with your left mouse, right mouse. So I've got this circle that I do not like. It's got some problems. So let's just redraw the circle. Hold down your sh uh, your sh shift key. Well, hold down your control sh button. Go ahead and make it a red hairline. And then put it, it's a little bit big. Make it a little smaller, and this would, this would where working in the center of the page would help. So I've got so much stuff going on, but let's go ahead and do it. Let's move all this stuff out of the way. Let's put this in the center of the page, and then this way, and it took my Gilbert away because I didn't, I don't have it grouped together. So let's do this. Let's take my circle away. Let's group all this. And I apologize if I'm going so fast. I've got actually company coming over in just a few minutes. So our circle is just a little bit little. So just make it a little bit bigger. 
Now it's good. Let's, now this is where I like setting the nudge factor to like half of an inch. Take your circle, move it out of the way. Use your virtual segment delete key. Then you can take your circle and put it right back. And we need to get rid of these words. So let's ungroup it all. Because they're just not going to work. Well, I'm putting them in the center of the page. Delete. Let's just get rid of this stuff. Break curve apart. Get rid of these words. And I'm not going to go through every step. Because I did not know how to get these this text. Then we can put this back to the center of the page. Now, so I've already, so this was my word off of the, what I want. And all I did was go ahead and put no fill, hairline, and then the only way I could figure out how to do it would be the envelope tool. So grab the envelope tool. Come on. And let's, let's zoom in here. Go back to the envelope tool. Let's take that note away. Take that note away. Now, I've never really done this before, but it worked out pretty good. And you could, and I'm not doing this perfectly. And then just take your corners and kind of make them meet your line. And one thing, whoever would want to do this, remember that it's, it's your, you know, your emblem now, you've completely redrawn it. So what's it, you know, who's to say it's not perfect, but just make it kind of, because it wasn't a text to curve, it was something else. Now hit P on the keyboard. Now it's in the center of your page. Half of an inch is going to be too much, so let's move it to point zero zero one. Well, that's a little bit too little. Let's go point zero zero five. And see, since it's in the center of the page, all you have to do is move it up. Now I'm not going to do the other words but you would do the same thing and then just take your smart fill tool, fill it in. And we didn't get rid of that 2011 and then fill in that and you've got it. See that's, that's not really there. So I, I didn't erase it, but you get the idea how it will look and, and then always, always test your, um, Subject, let's, well, okay, we didn't put this in the center. And it's actually a little bit too big, so we're going to reduce it. Hit center of the page. Still too big. This is where working in center of the page helps. And you could play around that and make it your own. But that looks pretty good. Then we're going to group it. And then put it behind our yellow box. I use the yellow box a lot to make sure you've gotten rid of all the white and see like right now we can see we need to ungroup it and just delete those because they are going to at least on my engraver it will start engraving. Now most of the time I work with so you would do that for all four words but on you know, I, I work with raw wood, so this little bit of white would sand out. But anyway, that's how to do it. And you do the same thing with the rescue. Just put it in an envelope tool and just kind of, and I would, you know, maybe uh, when you put the envelope tool, let's just do one real quick, another word. Put an envelope tool, and this is a pretty good trick. Let's get rid of that node because you don't need those nodes. But then what I would do is set your nudge factor on, well, let's just leave it on 0 0.005. And then you could cursor up. Let's go three steps. 
and then you know it's equal. All right, hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.